morning ladies, it's the packing video, finally, and I'm here at the moment on my own because Chloe is stuck in traffic and Victoria's stuck in traffic and I really wanted them to be here to answer your questions. So what I've got is a little setup going on. I'm in my top floor room and I've got, um, I've, I've got a tripod, I've got two lights because it's so dark in here. Where's my gorgeous light for my bathroom? But in this video, what I'm going to do is go through um, everything that I've got on the rail that I'm considering packing. It's going to go into one big suitcase and one wheelie because I'm going away for two weeks. I've got every single beauty product that I wish to take and then how I'm going to decant it. I've got extra things on the floor I might take if they fit in my suitcase, but generally here this is about how is the best way to pack so that you have the perfect suitcase and a lot of this depends on where you're going. So for me, I'm going to Italy for two weeks and I'm gonna have a mixture of people staying with me and not. I don't know how much space I'll have when I get there, so I always pack as if I can kind of take things from my suitcase and just put them on a floor and they'd still be all right or in a cupboard if there's space. I take my own hangers. I'll start off with that if there's room in the case. They're called huggable hangers. It's a silly trick, but I think wherever I've gone to stay, whether it's with friends or in a hotel or wherever it might be, um, there's never enough hangers. Uh, and I like to take hangers. So especially in the summer, in the winter I don't do this because summer packing and winter packing are profoundly different. Um, for me, winter packing is tricky to get into. If I was going away for two weeks to get things into one and a half cases or one case and a hand luggage would be tricky because I love coats and, and as you know, gilets and outerwear, and I have clumpy shoes, so it's really tricky. But summer, it's so much easier, and those hangers go into nothing, and I always lay them flat on my suitcase at the end. I get them from Amazon. There's an original company called Huggable Hangers, and they're very good, and then there's a few rip-offs where they break a little easier. But if you can't afford, a set, they're not that expensive, you know, I would get the originals. And then they have little baby ones for, um, for trousers and things, but it seems weird to put them into your top of your suitcase, but they take hardly any room. You know, what? I'm just gonna say good morning to people now, or have I got my glasses there? I'm slightly organized because I'm so happy you're joining me this early. Good morning, I'm just gonna start very quickly with one. Julia, good morning, Joanna, good morning, good morning, Yumola, Paola, Luisa, Karen, Farida, Joanna, Nuova, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Nina, uh, Jane, um, Patrick. Abby, Diana, Katie, Natalie, Tina, Maria, Helen. Thank you. Oh, oh, hang on. No, I've just, yes, I've done something. Okay, I'll stop, stop reading out. All right. So I'm going to start with my existing summer wardrobe. Now, it's a few more things than this, but what I've tried to do is already wean what um, I shouldn't be taking, but just to give you an idea of the background of this room, there's a lot of weaning there. Do you see? <laughs> Um, so for me, I need to think to myself, I think there's nothing more dissatisfying for me than going on holiday and, um, and thinking I didn't wear that and I didn't wear that and I didn't wear that. So I'm going to literally take you through the lot, um, starting at the end. Hope you can see this shirt dress. I have one similar like it to Zara, but it's not as stiff. I have that one from Zara, which I love, and I've worn quite a lot. Um, they're quite similar, but this has more structure, and I'll wear this in the evening. It's quite heavy for where I'm going, but I just found out the weather might not be brilliant. But this Zara one, um, what I love is I can have it done up and wear it over trousers. I can have it undone and wear it over a bikini. Um, I think it's still in store now. It has this long, um, I'm going to put it on for you so you can see actually because it's really good and I'm getting hot in this so hold on a second whilst I chain here we go it just does up like that and uh, it's got slits at the side but it um, I'm not going to try on everything ladies okay but I wear this so I can wear this this is like your five party outfit I can wear it as a uh, dressing gown which I would okay like that I can wear it undone, which I won't show you right now because I've got nothing on underneath, with a pair of wide leg white trousers like my, like my Zara ones there. Um, 
I can wear it with a little white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Um, and I can wear it smartly done up in the evening, sort of opened a bit, sexy bra and a necklace and a pair of high heels. So that is a five way piece, definitely going in the wardrobe. Um, this, oh, I love this dress. This is my, let's actually, should I put it on as well for you? Just put it on as well for you, okay. Hold on a sec, this is that dress of, you've got a bit sunburnt, you've ate, eaten too much, you just feel kind of like you want to cover everything, but you want to feel attractive, so it has a really nice armhole. I like that kind of peekaboo armhole. It's got flat at the front, it's um, stretchy at the back, so easy, and I actually bought two about, I bought two from, I think Melissa Odebash or Heidi Klein, and I can't remember, uh, but they cost per wear probably about a pound, because they've come in every single holiday I've ever gone on in the last five and seven years, so brilliant. Um, I found another caftan label, which I love, and this is a new caftan, because I sometimes get, the clothes I've had here, are from two weeks to 15 or 20 years old. And that's what a summer wardrobe should consist of. So the Tusa is a label I found in Selfridges. They're about 120 pounds, but I do spend money on my caftans because I know I will have them for years and years and years. I love the color of that, it makes me happy. I'll wear it front or back. In fact, shall I show you wearing it front or back now? Okay, but I love this. You might, actually I did a Instagram when I went to Spain for my sister's um, son's wedding, and I wore this in the Instagram. Um, but it's just easy, and I wear it front ways over a bikini, and I might wear it at night and twist it around like that, and then I might put on it um, a kind of my neon necklace and turn it into something for night like that. So I like clothes that can be adaptable. Who's that? Morning. Come in, can Chloe. Can you tell the caftan brand, please? What? The caftan brand. Oh, look at Chloe. She, she's crawling in the door, <laughs> and she doesn't want us to disturb us, and she said, tell us the caftan brand, please. The caftan brand is Petusa. Petusa. But just to show you, caftan for day, and turn it around, and belt it, and do different things for night. Um, and I like flexi. Flexi clothing. Um, and the other thing I do carry around with me, because I have lots of little belts, that I've collected over the years. So I might take this little yellow belt, which is a 25 year old Prada belt, and I might just tie it there, because caftans, and I will probably, what I haven't done yet is cut off the label, because the label is um, getting in the way of that design. You see him just do that? So that's turned it into a dress. All right, um, I also got it in orange. <laughs> I also got it in orange. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this holiday. Um, and I'll wear that one the same way. Everyone um, is loving the caftans. Thank you, they're Everyone. so good, the caftans. And then, you know, I want to leave some of these things for you for when I'm away, but I'm just going to quickly whisk through because we've got lots of stuff to do um, when I think. Now, I went to India years ago and I got these two beautiful dresses from an Indian designer called Nina Mahmood. And what I love about them is I wear them done up like that. Should I show you really quickly? Oh, no, you know what? You won't be able to, it's difficult to buy them. So. I'll show them to you in a nice scene in, in Capri, but I think I'll just show you here um, buying something and changing it. When I bought this dress, it was the waist started up there. In fact, I've got to show you to do this because this is about changing clothes. Okay, one second. Yeah, I'm asking where are you going? I'm going to Italy! I'm going to Italy, Chloe! <laughs> I'm going to Italy! I'm going to the, um, I'm going to Italy, yes, I'm going to Italy, hold on the tea. Now, oh, okay, so, this is something I think all ladies who are long-waisted need to consider doing. So, hang on a tick, because I'm just sli still undone, I'm still undone. Um, oh, God, you know when you try something on, I'm glad I'm trying some to you ladies, because this last year, last year, it fit, this year, it's tight. Okay. Lucky, I must have had that feeling of years ago because I put poppers in between the buttons. Do you ever do that? Poppers in between the buttons? Very good idea. <gasps> Crazy loves that you're so excited. I'm so <laughs> I haven't had a holiday. Well, I went for a few days at Christmas and my the wedding I went for the weekend, but this is really my first proper holiday. So this dress I want to show you. Um, and 
What I love about it, let me just put the thing down so I can just show you better. Yeah, is, you. Well, let's, I'll, I'll do now and then you might take over, Chloe. Mm -hmm. This waist of this dress was up here and I didn't have this blue band and the blue band was at the bottom. So, can I just show you right there? So what I did is I took off the blue band from the bottom and I put it here so I could bring down the waist of the dress. Otherwise it was a bit of a pregnancy dress. Um, and so it's worked. And then what I've done here, which is good to see, is I've put a popper in between each button so it doesn't pull. Um, and I think that's a very good trick on clothing where you think, eh, 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 eh. Okay. All right, so I also got it in <laughs> yellow and blue. And this, these are my two happy holiday dresses. I never wear these in London and they have great memories for me. And I first got them when I worked in India on a What Not To Wear show. Um, and, uh, well, not a What Not To Wear show, but a different show. And it has great memories of India for me. And I like my clothes. They have a, they have a kind of history. And so when you wear them, you evoke all those memories as well of where you've been, as well as where, as well as where you actually are. So love that. I'm also gonna be packing my suitcase. One smart dress, this is the Alice Templey white dress that I wore to my nephew's wedding you might have seen on Instagram last weekend and I love that and I'm going to pack the oh, I have to show you something this is a dress that I got from Denmark and I wore it last year uh, it's a really beautiful long dress it's very very long and it was quite expensive it was a I think a, a revamp of a vintage Victorian one but it was like expensive and then French Connection did this dress which is to the ankle, which is as pretty, exactly the same cut at the top. It's like they went and copied my dress, but they couldn't have done because I got it from Denmark. But if you ever find this in the sale, I don't have French Connection sales on, do get it. It's such a pretty summer dress. It comes to my ankle um, and I've worn it a lot this summer and it's the kind of dress that takes you from city to holiday. So that's perfect. Um, when I was in, I wear a lot of white on holiday and when I was in, um, actually I won't do that one, I'll do this one. If you ever, ever, ever find yourself in Porto Fino, there, um, I was there a few years ago and, um, and I was stuck there for about five days because it was really bad weather. And so I went shopping and there was a shop called, it's called La Vella, La Vella Porto Fino. And it's a very famous Italian shop. It's where sort of chic Italian women go um, when they don't want to look, where they want to look like they are not trying too hard. Do you know this, Chloe, this one? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a beautiful cotton. It's really sort of stretches. And I can undo it totally and wear it with a palazzo pant and a white top, or I can do it up and belt it. It's just, it's really, really comfortable and great. And when you want a cosy evening in, you wear sweatpants underneath. And I need that piece for holiday that, again, will work four or five different ways. Three, Louise is asking, what shoes would you wear with it? What shoes I wear with it? Okay, shoes. So I'll tell you the shoes I'm taking. I'm taking a pair of my J. Crew wedges. These are seven years old, but they're silver. They're a wedge, so all the cobbled streets I'm going to go on, they won't. Um, it won't be difficult. They'll go with many outfits, and I don't know if I'll go higher than that. I am contemplating also taking a pair of these, which are Robert Clergery snakeskin sandals, and. Silver and snakeskin goes with every single outfit, so those I would kind of definitely go in my suitcase. Um, I have my beloved, beloved sandals. I've had these sandals for 18 years, no, 16 years, and they're from Prada. <laughs> and they just say, they say so much about me. Um, but I've had them re-healed re about nine times, but cost for where they're working out, but they're just funny, they're a sort of rather, just, they're just a bit of me. Um, and then I got in the same shop in Capri, I got these flats and when I wear trousers in the summer I'll, or an ankle um, trouser, I'll wear those and they're really just easy local sandals. And there's many in Italy, there's lots of places that does local sandals and these are called, I love, no, I love, it's La Bella again. And it's the, um, you choose your color. It's a great company. If you ever find yourself in, Portofino. Okay, continuing, continuing, caftans. Now, oh, excuse me, my epaulette has got a bit caught. Um, Jean is asking, where did you get your silver wedges, Jean? My silver wedges I got in J. Crew, and they, you know, when you find a shoe that you think could be your summer shoe for holiday, 
buy it. Don't think twice, even if it feels quite a lot of money. Because if you find the perfect summer shoe, it will take you everywhere. Another one, which I'm contemplating taking, they look terrible off, but it's this very old fashioned um, uh, espadrille company, and I will give you the name. It's called Kata Hazel or something. Um, and I'll put it on and try and show you, but um, it sort of turns into nothingness, so it is good to take. Things that turn into nothingness are, but they're a little bit dirty. I'm just not sure. I'm thinking about it. But something like that would probably be my highest heel, so that might go in my case, but depends if I have room. All right, quickly finishing the clothes because we've got lots more to get through. Yeah, someone is asking about sunglasses. Sunglasses. Mad Kaftan, um, Willis Odebash. Cool Change is a really great brand for kaftans, and this is a Cool Change one. You buy them all over the place, but sometimes when I buy them raw, they're much less. They're like £60, because um, places like Heidi Klein charge like £100, £120, but these do last forever. They're cotton. I don't like to have that chiffon -y stuff on holiday because I get sweaty. Um, my Zara thing that is a dress and I wear as a top with that big billowy sleeve. So excited to take it on holiday. I'll wear it with a pair of white cropped trousers, my slightly narrow ones that I got from J. Crew last year. So I'll wear it sort of like that. Um, and then I might wear, during the day, I might wear it without anything underneath. It depends how comfortable I'm feeling about my legs because it's really short, but I wouldn't go into a town with it, but I might wear it by the pool or for lunch. Um, I will take this, I've worn it forever, this, my Zara shimmery thing. I'll do it over my white palazzo pants. I'll do it with a white gilet on top. I'll take that with me, that whole look. Uh, then I might do, what else will I do? Other ones, these might look like kids' little stretchy dresses, but I've taken these for years at once ago across a bustier with that, with that um, uh, gathered stitching, but they just, cool change again, last forever. You know, you're running out the door, you're putting something on, you can put it in your um, beach bag and bring it out, do a necklace with it. Actually, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you how simple they are. I'm gonna show you. So there's my blue one. Let me take this off. I mustn't forget to pack this now. I'm making my really neat room messy. <laughs> making it messy, but it'll be fine. Okay, let me just put that on. So, you see, I was running and I put it on and it's just simple. But I, I'm quite aware of being very, um, I'm very long here. So for the evening, the way I would change this, let me go to my little drawer of tricks here. I would probably put on my thick white cape, my thick white. So I do take this with me, I have to show you, because it's quite, it is my bag of tricks. This changes all my outfits, and I take it with me every holiday. Um, I think at some stage, Chloe, you're going to have to pick up the camera, but yeah. I'll finish doing the general, and then we'll go into the detail. Um, and then I have this old necklace, and I always put this on, things like this. And I'll put it on also, when I want to smarten up that dress, I'll just put it over. And it's this sort of big, heavy, white um, chain stone necklace, but it, it gives an outfit an evening look. So that will go from day to night by doing that. Um, then what else I got on the rail? I got sweatpants. Um, I'm even funny about my sweatpants. So that kind of moment when you want to be really casual on holiday, what I tend to do is I keep it all in the same color palette. So that's all grays and whites. So I've got a white little bra that I'm gonna put underneath that silver outfit because it's a little bit nipply. I've got some white pant palazzo pants from M&S, which are great. I've got a pair I got on holiday in a sort of white, very thin cottony fabric. I've got a white cos um, sweatshirt, which I'll wear over. Funny enough, I'll show you what I'll wear that, wear that over. I just created this outfit recently, and I'm gonna give you a taster now, but I, I found this shimmery shirt, skirt a few years ago, and I'm gonna put that sweatshirt over it and make it sort of smart casual. I love that look on holiday, and I probably wouldn't do that look in London. Diane is asking how many cases are you taking? I am going to show you how this all is going to go into one big case and a hand luggage. Really, really, I know you don't believe me, but Chloe will witness the packing. <laughs> okay, hats, important. So first of all, my hand luggage bag is going to be this bag that I got when I was in Italy two years ago, and I'll put my computer and everything in it, and then it will be my beach bag as well. Um, I've got sun hats, and I'm gonna pack those in my case. I haven't decided which one to take yet. 
My personal favourite... Okay, can you adjust on your legs? Okay, thank you so much. My personal favourite is this one I got from Zara, which I like because I like the colour. It's soft. It covers my face. It's got a little fringing. Whereas this one is kind of like that full-on moment. You think you want to take it for the sun, and then you slightly feel, am I Olivia de, ha Olivia de Havilland in Gone with the Wind? Does it work? but it does give full protection. So I might take that, and if I take both, I'll put one inside the other, and um, then I'll put some jewelry inside there, and I'll pack it around the top of my case with a hole in the middle of it, so it does work. I've also got this one, which is just getting, it's too tight, so it won't be going. And then I've got this one, which is just a spare for Lila, because I need, sometimes she asks my hat, which I think is more for a safari. Okay, thank you, I've got that sorted. All right, now let's talk jewelry and let's talk, let's talk, you know what I need? I need, I need my bag. Oh, prick. Sorry, I'm just getting, I'm talking to myself, please forgive me, but I want to show you um, how little room something takes up and that's gonna be difficult. All right, okay, I'm gonna get on now to my products. Okay, so welcome to my shop now. <laughs> I am fanatical about taking things with me on holiday because I am testing things out. So there's a reason I have nine different aspects of one uh, category of creams. But also I like to never compromise. And for me, if I can miniaturize things, it will really help for me to be able to work with them. So you all know I like my Julia Hunter products. Are you having your right, darling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You all know I like my Julia Hunter products. So what I've got here, if you want to look, these are all my full-size products, and these are all my minis. These are all my full-size products, and these are all my minis. Full-size products, minis, okay? Everything is there that I need, and more. And way too much for most people, but I'll, I'll show you the difference between my routine. So, this is a fantastic product from Julia Hunter. It's a wrinkle filler. Julia Hunter's the woman who does skin, skin therapy. But in the sun, I need a high amount of hyaluronic acid without oil because I do have a far more hydrated skin and this product does that for me and I will put it on morning, noon and night. I put it on before an SPF but it doesn't make you sweat um, and over hydrate your skin. All right ladies. Okay wrinkle control filler it was this size and now it's this size I'm putting it in the thing. I have a cell optimizer this is also from Julia Hunter and I take the mini version put it in you can buy a travel version the same with her um, cell hydration Sisley has a new eye cream I'm trying and I really like this eye cream um Sisley has an eye cream I love this eye cream sometimes it kills me that I love Sisley products because they are very expensive but I've been using this for two weeks and I want to continue using it before I report back to you guys because you always ask me about an eye cream and I'm always like, mm, I don't know if I use them very much, but this one I'm using. So I made a mini version. I use my dyno and I put it in a, mi in a mini tub. So there it goes. Ladies, ask me how long are you going away for? I'm going away for two weeks, which is a very long time for me. I usually only ever go away for a week. They have a day cream. I'm putting it in a small version because I want to be trying it out. My favorite professional scrub if you want a really big scrub, is Gold Harden. And Gold Harden is stronger than Dr. Lancer. And sometimes when I go on holiday, because I have so much SPF I put on every day, I really feel at night I need to scrub my face clean even more. So I've taken actually only, you know, halved it. But because I need that much, that's going in there. It's all going to fit in here, by the way. Um, I hope. Uh, then this is a lovely toning floral serum. And I'm using quite a few products from Votary. Votary are an organic brand run by two ladies. I'm just discovering a bit about them. And it is so beautiful, this toning serum. It's sort of between an oil and a toner. Perfect for that quite hot weather. So I put it into this spray from Muji, um, like that. So I can just spray it on my face. Um, and the smell is delicious. Uh, then I've got my um, vitamin C, CE. I always call it, what do I call it? CE Fioronic. Um, but it's the best vitamin C. I love this vitamin C, and I've got a mini one, which I got once from John Bell and Croydon, so I fill it up all the time. Vintner's Daughter, which is the oil I really like, and I put this on, sometimes I put on in the morning before my SPF, it might seem weird, but I do, and I definitely put it on at night, and I found a mini, mini bottle, uh, dark, um, 
Go up glass bottle. Oh, great. Right, where else do you buy other mini bottles from? The mini bottles, mini bottles like this, um, this is castor oil. And ladies, I've been using, can I just say, I had my eyelashes done last night from um, Edie from Lots of Lashes. And there, she does incredibly good lashes. And for holiday, I like to have them because I don't want to have any um, mascara when I'm on holiday. But she made them about 11 um, in length and some at about 10 and 11. But I've been, the week before, my eyelash had come off and I've been putting on castor oil because I told two or three friends of mine do castor oil, but I haven't been doing it myself for years. And I did my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So when Edie came to put on my lashes, she said to me, Trini, you've got like two layers of lashes or nearly three. So I thought that's fantastic. So what I've decided to do now is I'll do my lashes like these, which are kind of real looking, but not too false. Um, and then I will have a break once every couple of months and I'll do castor oil for a week to 10 days. And I think that's going to be my routine moving forward. So I take the castor oil on holiday for my eyebrows, little on a, a coffee tube every night. Um, and then I've got my um, my uh, serums from Julia Hunter, which you will all know by now if you've been following me, I use. There's a vitamin A serum, so there's the mini, um, and there's a day serum, and there's the, the mini, and then there's a peel. And, um, you know, there are two trains of thought on should one be doing AHAs and peeling when you go in the sun, but I don't go in the sun on my face. I wear up to 50 every day, and so I don't see a need to change my skincare routine apart from use less moisturizer if I'm in a more humid climate, humider climate. So I do take the mini version of that. Then I cannot be without my Sizzly Black Rose Mask, so I've put some into my little Muji pot. Um, and then little things here. I get heavy legs in the summer. I don't know how many of you do, but if I... Um, I get heavy legs, I realise, for two reasons. One is, when I eat too much sugar, I've really noticed when I stop taking my sugar, that when I eat too much sugar, I get heavier legs, and I can feel the inflammation. It's kind of spooky, but I can. So, um, to, counter back, to counterbalance the inflammation, I'm taking a few sets of pills, which I got from America, which I taught you through on another post. But I'm also taking sizzly leg oil, and I'm going to mix it, with Chloe, that might be Victoria. I'm going to mix it with um, um, th th this way, darling. This way. I'm going to mix it with um, I've lost my train of thought. Uh, with a French brand which is called Jambon Légère or Heavy Legs, which some lovely Facebook lady told me to look at in my pharmacy post. So it's actually in another pot. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take my progesterone cream. I'm going to take. Um, a, um, my fragrance, so the fragrance I love is Roger Gallet Imperial, it's nearly finished, and I'm taking the mini version. Um, I am doing my fragrance you want, I'm still collecting them, and, and this is just a note, that when I do fragrance on holiday, I don't put it on my skin, because the sun, if you catch the sun, you can make a mark, so I just do, morning Amanda, morning Amanda, uh, you had nice hair in Ischia. Um, I just do it in the neck. Um, and put that in. And then I've got Creme de la Mer, very expensive things I'm taking on holiday. Creme de la Mer have a lovely SPF 30 and I put this on when I'm going out for dinner and I might be leaving somewhere at six o'clock and I'm going to be staying out. So I don't want to put sun cream on, don't want to put any foundation-y stuff on. I'll put this on, which is still protecting my face from the sort of six to eight p.m. sun, which in a hot country can affect you easily. But it gives me a little bit of a finish, and it's, it's, a, it's a great product. But I only use it on holiday. I never use it in London. Um, and then I've got my mini Foreo, my little baby, still working. <laughs> it only has a life. It, uh, my big Foreo is rechargeable. But my mini Foreo, can I just say it works just as well. It gets into all the nooks and crannies. It's such a good product. I love it. My roller does not come smaller, so it goes in as it is. I... Um, Water retention, so I've got my water retention tablet if it gets quite bad, so I put in enough to take one a day if I have to. Um, I've got some in case I break out in spots because we need every eventuality. I'm so excited for my holiday. Ah! Um, so Evelon Rescue Mask I really like as a spot cream, and so I take a mini version. I can breathe, I can pause for questions, Chloe. Yeah, they're warning from Deborah, Susan, Carmen, David, and Juliet. And Juliet asks, have you leveled, leveled the, pot, the pot? 
I've la I, I, labeled the pots. Yeah. I have labeled the pots. I have labeled the pots. That's how anal I am. But that's that's the way I'm going to tell them apart. Um, and then I've got also some little Aqua di Rose, which is uh, Santa Maria Novella, is one of my favorite uh, Italian pharmacies. I wish I was going to a place in Italy near one of those. But it's the, um, the Aqua di Rosa, and it's just a spritz. And I put that on, and I put it into a little mini spritz bottle. Emily packs pseudo cream, amazing for spots. Pseudo cream is good for spots. I pack pseudo cream for a sore bottom. <laughs> but that's a good thing to know. Anyway, I'm just going to show you my last two. Francis Prenner Jones does a kind of glycolic, like a P70, like the Biologic Recharge. So I'm taking a mini version of that to try again. And I've got here Gold Sarden Peel. I'm taking that to try, which is this big one, um, to see what that's like. So, ladies, all I need to show you is that I've still got room in my thing, but all I just want to show you the miracle. Amazing. So, Jody's asking how many perfumes are you taking? One for day, one for the evening? No, I'm just taking Imperial because I think it's a really lovely fragrance. That's all I need. So, I'm just going to show you here. There. Okay, ladies, you see how much is there and that's what I put it in. So that's my minis, that's my minis there, and that's the full stack. So it's worth minising. <laughs> Miniaturization is key. So that goes in my case and suddenly it's much less. Um, and I'm just going to take you through my case and my pack. And then when you're done, how long have I been? Ah, yes, can I just say little things you might wonder? Sun cream, I have got my sun creams and they are here. Um, there, I'm going to show you actually the sun creams I take. I have got, this is my heavy leg thing that I'm also going to take from France there, which I put on at night um, to take away my heavy legs. I'm taking my Helio Care 360 because this is such a great foam, which is a SPF 50, like that. Do you want to use that back down? Uh, and it, it blends the skin beautifully. I, it's one of my favorite newly discovered SPFs. Um, I'm going to take Julia Hunter Skin Therapy one as well. I do take a lot, a lot of SPF with me. And then for my body, I take um, this brand, which is a weird one. Some people love it, some people hate it. I've used it successfully for 15 years, and it's um, Esoderm, but there's three stars, and I take the three star one, which it's done by the type of sun you're in, so it's not done by SPF. Uh, so it just does intense sun, high sun, moderate sun. So I take the one for intense sun. Monica's asking, no vitamins? Ah, vitamins, yes, vitamins, yes. Sorry, I forgot my vitamins. Here are my vitamins. I put them in there, and I know what colors they are for what they take. And that's, that's what they came from. Um, so I decamp them, and I take them for so long, I know the colours, so they're going in that. Okay, sunglasses, glasses, ladies. This is my glasses section. So I take my um, ones you all like. Kneel down and show you. Oh. I take my Celine, like that, which I love and I've had for years. Can I tell you the best thing that happened to me on here is that I had lost these grey ones and you would all comment on these grey ones and I love them and then I found them they're called mini Audrey and then I found them in this color like that which I like too but I miss the grey and then my daughter was telling me about Depop and I went on with her and I was scrolling through and I saw a girl on Depop was selling these exact glasses I sent the money I got them the two days later how fantastic reading glasses then my Have a Look brand, which I really like because they do glasses with a plus two like that, and they have some with bifocals. Do you remember I've had them on the back of my bike? So I take those. And then I also take, I'm sure many ladies identify here with this, I take a fan. I take a fan for many reasons, but I take a fan because I get bloody hot at night in a, in a sweaty, humid location, and I just need it. So I do take the kitchen sink when I travel. Okay. Three, Jade is asking, do you have a plane routine? And Louise is asking, what do you wear on the plane? Okay, what I'll wear on the plane, oh, you just want every question answered. I'll probably wear on the plane my, I, I mean, I'll show you what I'll wear, because this is what I'll wear. I'll wear my, um, 
I'll wear my white filet trousers. Those. No, those aren't my white filet trousers. I'll wear my... Start again. I'll wear my white filet trousers. I will wear my sleeveless Zara gilet. Um, I will wear um, a t-shirt underneath. And then I'll wear either my new lovely Zara platforms, which I got, if any of you follow me on Instagram, I got on the weekend. Really comfortable. Um, and probably a long scarf. And my hat. I might actually wear my hat. So, ladies, I haven't drawn breath. I really think, whoa. Now, are you a roller or are you a flat packer? Tell me. Because I am a flat packer. I'm not a roller, but I'm a kind of find somewhere where every nook and cranny can be filled. So, when I pack, I want to kind of show you easier, because then Chloe, maybe, you know, Should Chloe, just when you pick up the camera, then we lost what, it, didn't it, we? It, yeah, because I stopped the, the thing, so if I just keep it so like that. Keep it like that, darling. And just expand it like that. Okay, ladies, can you see? Yeah. Okay, ladies, so I start with, um, the I start weirdly with my evening clothes that I'm going to wear. And I don't know why I do that, but I just, that's always how I've done it. I have this kind of way I've done my packing for years. And I tend to just put things that are very floaty, I'll kind of put them in in the middle, and then I will fold down, and I'll fold in, fold in, getting every little corner um, like that. And then dresses like this, I'll actually do on the diagonal, like that. Um, I do love this dress. You know, do you find, do you have favourite things? Because I do have dresses that really are memory, you know, memories of wonderful holidays for me. And I think that's the, that's kind of the joy I get out of packing in the summer, is that you just sort of think of all those good times you've had. And generally, for me, a summer holiday is a holiday I most look forward to, because I don't go away much at the moment. I used to go away a lot more for work. Lila? Morning, Bunny. Morning, Lola. Come and say good morning. Come and say good morning, Bunny. Oh, you can say morning, Lola. Lola. <laughs> Come and sit here. They never see you, and Lila's back from holiday. Come on, you can just say hello. Oh, yeah, okay. You're going to go have breakfast. All right, Daphne. Do you want to say good morning to them, then? Okay. Bye, Lola. Bye, Lola. Bye, Lola. Bye, Lola. Bye, Lola. Bye, Lola. <laughs> oh, they're saying morning, Lila. <laughs> so, um, ladies, this is now. I just feel the point. I think you're only staying with me now because you want to make sure I can get it all in one case. And I appreciate that. I appreciate. They're that. asking swimwear for me. Swim oh my God, swimwear! Yes, because I got so carried away with, with evening wear. Let me just. Okay, sorry, because I've got. You know what? I only have this morning's pack, so you're going to have to put up with me just putting this bit in the case. Let's look at, let me just put away my jewellery bit, because I want to have that all neat, because I took that out to show you. And little, can I just say little things? Ah, oh, yes, I don't have two or three things I wanted to show you in swimwear, so I'm glad you've asked me. Do I sound like a deranged woman sometimes? I'm just, it's like, I know I get to that old woman who talks to herself in the park. So, let's talk swimwear. I went to try it on my bikini, um, and 90% of them did not fit. I don't know if you've had that moment where they shrunk, you put them away and you didn't rinse them through with enough salt, you know, you didn't take the salt water out. So anyway, they were, so I had to do a whole new bikini shopping. So I got cheap and expensive, so I'm going to show you all of them. <gasps> um, so, my best find ever, which I'll show you when I'm on holiday, is by this brand, and I got it from my my boyfriend's daughter, Phoebe, and she told me about it, and now I've lost the name of the brand, Oshko. What's it called? The Zara brand. Osh Oisho. What? Oisho. 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 So I got this bikini from Oisho, and it's so pretty. It looked as nice in the picture as it did on. The cups are amazing for the boob. I mean, they give you such a good boob, great support, a little bit of pushing up. A, a, incredible construction. I mean, I would have paid £100 for it, and it was like 30 quid. That's wonderful. And I've got a lot of... Um, I'm going to undo this for you. I've got lots of... Um, They're wondering, is the dress or the dressing gown what dressing you wear? Dressing gown. Oh, no. 
This is my Zara one. This is the one that can be the dress or the dressing gown. Um, so with that, I will take this sarong and I collect sarongs um, and I have lots. But this also will become a little dress for me. So I'm just going to show you this, Claire, if we can get up for a second. Yeah. Um, and then I've got to put this all back because I've got to put back. So that is a sarong in the daytime. I can wear it around my waist. But at evening, I probably do this. have lots of these little belts that I have with me and I'll put it round like that and make, I don't know if you can see it, and make a really sweet um, dress. So that does become two or three things. How many hats are you packing? I'm packing two hats for those of you who join me um, and I'm going to just now take that out of the way there um, and also I'm going to talk through the phone which is quite sexy. If any of you haven't been on my Instagram look because this bikini I got from Seafoam, I'm not going to put it on now, but it sort of has these weird hanging down things, they twist, they go around the front, it's a very flattering um, company, you've just got to trust me, only go though for their plain colours, I think their patterns are a little cheap looking, they don't cost much, they're about 30, 30, 40 quid, but for a solidly good bikini, that's a good investment, um, and they go up to a, like a double F cup, which I think is brilliant. I mean, you know, they go up to G or H, actually. I know they, they've, like a, they've sold on Brothers so, Dinner. Oh, that was all very neat. So Camilla says, I always carry a bikini in my la hand luggage in case my suitcase doesn't arrive. Oh, oh, I, uh, <laughs> I so do that as well. I mean, I literally, I do a sarong and a bikini, actually. <laughs> and one of, I have actually in my hand luggage bit that I'm preparing. I have done that. Okay, where were we? I think now, I mean, I, I need to prove to you I can get it in here. So let, me just, let me just pack. There we go. Now, the other thing I think it would be good to do, um, and I've done this already, um, is to look at what you wore last year, because I will always put a rail up, and if you've got time to do this or space to do this, it's great. And I'll put on what I think I want to take a week before, if you have time. Find yourself half enough to do this. And then just kind of graze at that rail. Think, actually, it's like I'm thinking, actually, am I going to wear this silky dress on holiday? No, I'm not. So it's not going. And then I'm looking at this, and I wore this. I remember when I wore it last year, I felt it was quite heavy, and I love it. Um, but actually, am I going to wear it? Probably not, because that, that goes away. It makes life much easier. Um, I love this white Captain, but I went and bought another one, Charles and Tuli again, which actually takes up more space, but I love it. So, no, we won't take that white one, we'll take the new one. Because the other one I've had like 15 years, and it's time for it to go to Captain, Captain Heaven, I think. So, are you packing any books or magazines? Yes, I'm packing on my Kindle. Should we go through my electronic selection? Um, should I tell you what books I'm reading? Hang on, I have my Kindle. On my reading list, the books I've just got. <sighs> if you've got any good selections too, because I think we'd all love some good holiday reading, and it does depend what you're reading. But, because I bought so many books, um, Meet Me in the In Between from Bella Pollen, I'm reading. Um, and that's because she's an old friend of mine, and I was just interested by the book. Um, I'm reading Lies, I'm going to read Lies, which is that kind of new psychological thriller. Um, and just you know we all need a psychological thriller on holiday i've got a historical book i'm reading as well which i've now got to try and find but i have actually downloaded about 20 books um oh, hang on a bizarre light let me just see here because i've got to go through all of them now to find it for you the billionaire who wasn't Thich khan is a wonderful meditation man that i take on holiday with me stefan zweig is a is a writer that I've read, Beware of Pity and Confusion, which are two amazing books, but I'm now reading Chess, which is one of his classics, um, and I just thought I want to go back to one of the books of his. Um, 
I wanted to read Madame Bovary again, so that might come on holiday with me too. I'll probably get through three books on holiday because literally all I'll do is is read, hang with Lila, hang with family, um, and sleep and eat. Um, I could recommend an amazing book. I've got some of my favourite books on here actually. Robes and Mystery, A Fine Balance is a phenomenal book um, in, in India, based in India, over 30 years. It's it's one of my favourite books. I've really got some treasured friends on here. Anyway, um, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this, and um, I have blabbed on. I will finish my packing, and I'll show you the finished packing. My God, it's 8.30. I've been on for an hour. Um, ladies, I will be transmitting when I'm on holiday, and I'll try and do some Facebook Lives on different things that I'm finding, or holiday shopping or whatever but um have a lovely week and um if you're going on holiday yay and if you're not be william hurt in the accidental tourist